Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Ultrix connectors for SAP. In this video I'm going to show you how to extract data from SAP systems directly into Ultrix environment. These are the tools which can extract data from SAP system into Ultrix. We also provide tools which can write data back to SAP systems for more information, please visit our website at dwanalytics.com. Here, BW Query tool allows you to read data from BW Queries and Views. BW Info Provider tool allows you to read data from objects such as Info Cubes, Info Objects, Multi Providers, Virtual Providers, and Data Store Objects, etc. BW Hierarchy tool allows you to read hierarchical data into flat tabular formats in Ultrix. BW Text tool allows you to extract data for specific info objects such as the keys and the text associated with an info object and then you can use that information to join with other information from tools in, in your workflow. SAP Table tool allows you to connect to any table in your SAP system in ECC as well as BW systems. SAP Logon tool allows you to enter and retain all your system configurations such as your SAP system names and your username and password details in a single place so that you can join other tools that you see on this screen with the Logon tool and you do not have to repeat your logo and information again and again. So now let's see these tools in action. As you can see here, I have already configured my workflow. In this case, I have two systems in my logo and tool that I am going to connect to. One is BW system, other is CRM or the ECC system. I also entered my username and password details there. At this stage, you can click on Ping Servers button, which will then show you whether your logo and information is correct or not. This tool then connects to all other tools in my workflow, and therefore I do not need to repeat my username and password information. So, for example, my BW Query tool, I selected my BW system here and the other system that you see in the list is CRM system. So this information now flows from the logon tool. On parameters tab, I have selected my query which I am interested in connecting to. In this case, this query has a single mandatory variable. This mandatory variable is added the moment this query is selected. If there are more than one mandatory variables, then all those mandatory variables will be added here for you and you are expected to provide the low and high values for them. You can take control of your output fields by clicking on the additional settings button. In this case, these are the characteristics and key figures which are part of the output. And these are the free characteristics or free key figures that you can select from. You can click on this checkbox here to indicate to the system whether you are interested in seeing the text as well as the key values for your outputs. You can bring in this information such as your variables and your filters using the external sources. For example, I want to add a filter on calendar year field and I want to see data between year 2012 and 2015. For that I have used a text input tool and there you can see my field type is F, my field name is the calendar year which is a filter name. My operator is between, my selection is include, and the low and high values I have selected are 2012 and 2015. Now this filter will be added to the BW query at runtime and data will be narrowed. The mapping between the input tool and the query tool is done on this tab here. As long as your fields match with the names that you see here, 
these fields will be automatically mapped or you can simply click here and select the values now let's go to the PWA info provider tool which works on similar principle but in this case you do not have <coughs> to add any mandatory variables all you do is you add your free characteristics that you want to see as part of your output in key figure section if you leave this area blank system will try to bring all the key figures for you otherwise you can select the ones that you are interested in for SAP table I'm going to connect to my ECC system or the CRM system instead of my BW system on parameters tab you can see that I have selected my table and the moment I selected my table all these fields were added automatically for me and I just simply selected the fields that I want to see in my output you can click on the record count button to see the current total number of records in this table on BW hierarchy tool my starting point was my query against that query these are the info objects which have hierarchies associated with in the system in this case I want to see the product hierarchies and there are three hierarchies available for me to select from I selected the unbalanced hierarchy and the level of depth that I am interested in is three for my BW text tool I am interested in an info object called partner country I want to see its key value which is the internal representation and the text which is short text in this case I would then combine this information with the information coming from my BW query tool there also I have a field similarly named also on this tool that you will see here is that the starting point was my query against that query these are all the info objects where I can find text information from now these tools are joined on common fields such as in this case my partner is the common field between my BW query and BW info provider similarly for my BW text I do have my partner country coming from my BW query which is a similar field which comes from my BW text tool as well and all this information is finally combined in this browse tool here so now let's see the output at this stage system goes and connects to the SAP systems in this case BW and CRM systems via RFC calls brings that information here and then joins that information for the final display so as you can see here in this case all these fields are from these tools that I entered or used in my workflow so in this case let's say for an example these four fields are part of my hierarchy tool and as you can see I had selected three levels of depth so therefore I got three levels here but the leaf node that you see here is the product name or the product key and that matches with the product key that you see here therefore I can now combine this information using this leaf node with the product name here or the product key here similarly you will see my partner values or my partner keys and the text field has been brought from BW text tool so there you have information coming from two different SAP systems and from many different objects nicely combined here in our tricks environment thanks for watching this video